when I was conceived. Each of my parents' gametes contributed 23 chromosomes. Each is a long molecule of DNA. The gene for beta hemoglobin is located on the short arm of chromosome 11 at site 11P15. Near the beginning of this gene, there is a site where most individuals possess the nucleotide adenine. I, however, possess the nucleotide thymine in its place. Because of this change in the DNA nucleotide, there was a change in the mRNA codons, so that the sixth mRNA codon after methionine, which in most individuals reads GAG, in my beta hemoglobin gene reads GUG. Because of this change in the mRNA codon, the amino acid order is changed so that the sixth amino acid, or the seventh if you count the methionine which is removed, instead of being glutamic acid as it is in most individuals, is instead the nonpolar amino acid valine. Because the polar amino acid glutamic acid was replaced with the nonpolar amino acid valine, this alters the shape of the beta hemoglobin protein. And since a red blood cell can have 250 million molecules of hemoglobin, the altered shape is significant for the shape of the cell as well. And so, the abnormal shape of the cell, which some individuals refer to as a sickle cell, this is due to the abnormal amino acid valine in the sixth position of beta hemoglobin. Given that I am a heterozygote, having received a normal allele for beta hemoglobin from one of my parents, and the sickle cell allele from my other parent, I have the sickle cell trait. The advantage to this is that I have resistance to malaria that normal individuals do not have. The disadvantage is that under strenuous conditions, such as perhaps high altitude jumps or very strenuous physical activity, my red blood cells can change their shape, increasing the possibility that they will get clogged in narrow blood vessels, perhaps even leading to heart attack and stroke. This is the phenotype of the sickle cell trait. If I had received one allele from each of my parents, I would have sickle cell anemia, and this abnormal structure of red blood cells would be far more dire in its clogging of blood vessels.